In this video, I'm going to show you the 16 VS Code extensions that I'm using for my current web development flow. The first extension on the list is the auto rename tag extension. It's just a little utility that closes out tags whenever you start writing them. So if I start an H2 tag here, it will automatically close it. It's just a nice convenience to have. The second and fourth plugins on the list are both themes. And the code stacker theme is an, is the theme that I'm using right now. I really enjoy it. Uh, it's got some nice colors, contrast, and saturation to it, and a lot of detail for different different parts of the code. So I've been enjoying that theme. The next plugin on the list is the Better Comments plugin, and this just kind of formats your comments nicely. You can make alerts or make to do list items, and it's nice to have the different color coding. Um, in the comments to just be able to document things better. The next extension that I have is a color highlighting tool. So if I type in a hexadecimal code here, such as the code for red, it will automatically highlight that uh, color so I can see what colors I'm working with in a style sheet. This is an extension that allows you to debug Chrome. You basically can run uh, Chrome browser in your code editor so you don't have to go back and forth between the browser and the uh, editor but you can instead do your development debugging in the VS Code app itself. The next extension that I have is these Fluent icons. I found this from, I've been watching a lot of Firebase videos, I find this tutorial is really helpful and I think these icons are more clear than the icons that come by default, so I switched to these because it's easier for me to see that this is the debug in particular icon. Um, next I have GitHub Copilot. We can make a whole video about this in itself, but this is an awesome tool for auto-completing using AI. And I believe they trained a model on a lot of um, GitHub, a lot of GitHub open source code that it can basically reference open source repos and help you paste in code from those repos. And the algorithm that it's using is actually OpenAI's Codex algorithm. And you might've heard that OpenAI and GitHub are partnering. They have a $10 billion new partnership. So I expect that OpenAI and GitHub are really gonna be improving this tool. And not only do I expect it, but I've been hearing news recently that they are developing this tool. Um, next, I have the GitHub Copilot Labs, and this gives you extra features in the GitHub Copilot extension. Um, I'm still going to play with this. I haven't played with this one too much, but you can do some really some really cool things. It's almost like a, a stable diffusion web UI or something like that where you can do more fine tuning um, on the Copilot extension itself. Next, we have a tool called Live Server that allows you to deploy a server um, down in your bar here. I can deploy a server just as I would from the terminal to test my web apps from uh, making server calls. And then I have this Live Share plugin next, which is a tool that VS Code and Microsoft released to allow you to basically have multiple collaborators so I can code with someone else and have multiple people coding the same document at once. So this is really helpful for consulting or pair programming or demos. Um, you can really get in there kind of like Figma or Google Docs and edit the same code file at the same time. Then we have another theme. Then we have a paste JSON as code. So this allows you to format your JSON into different formats uh, such as TypeScript. So this can help if you're working with a TypeScript app. This is another extension that I found from Firebase. And next uh, is the linter that I'm using. I used to use Prettier, but now I'm using Brome. It compiles faster than Prettier, and I'm just trying out an alternative. So I use the Rome linter. I also have Solidity language support because I do some smart contract development, and I need that syntax highlighting because out of the box VS Code Solidity files are just all white text and can't have that. And that is, this is another set of icons that I don't think I'm currently using. I believe I'm using the Fluent icons instead. So that is a quick run through of the VS Code extensions that I'm using right now. I hope that you find one that is helpful for you too. And if you have an extension here, or you have an extension that I'm missing that I need to have, please let me know in the comments because I'm working on improving my development flow. 
And next I'm planning on, I want to use start using Emmet and start using snippets where I can write shortcuts to make boilerplate code that I use all the time. Um, so anyway, yeah, drop in the comments if you have any questions or any plugins that I need to try out. Thank you for watching and definitely like and subscribe to this video to get new web development and AI tutorials. Thank you.